Hello everyone! Welcome back to a 2v2 battle for Warhammer. I am bringing the Wood Elves with an ally of the Dwarves versus the forces of Chaos and Vampire Counts. For my army we have the Glade Lord leading a couple of these Hawk Riders, three of them. Also brought the awesome looking Sisters of the Thorn and then my main line is back here with multiple Exalted Guard or Eternal Guards, not Exalted Guards, sorry. An Ancient Tree Men, and then two, two Tree Can being led by Branchwaith with the Mystifying Miasma. Just because I don't use that spell often, it's a single target mini Fate of Buna, if you want to call it that. Um, and then we also have a Heal Spell with her. For the Dwarf Ally here, we have a Cannon, two Slayers, two Thunderers, three Dwarf Warriors with Great Weapons, Miners with Blasting Charges, the Skulder Guard, whoops, and then a front line of Longbeards being led by Thorgrim Grudgebearer. For the enemy, uh, we have them both mixed in together. We have a front line of zombies, including the Tithe. Behind them, we have Graveguard of different variations, the Sternsman, Normal, and then two Great Weapons. Then we have three Forsaken, three Chaos Warriors, a Chaos Sorcerer of Death with those spells, and then they uh, chose with Halberds. Then off of the forest, we have two Chaos Knights with Lances, a Chaos Lord with the Chaos Filth Mace item thing, uh, Exalted Hero, White King, Blood Knight, and then over in this forest, we have a uh, Karen Wraith, the Claw of Nagash, and the uh, Cryptors over here. A lot of units. So my initial target is going to be this Claw of Nagash. It does not have that much armor. It does have regeneration. They can also cast healing spells on it. But that is still going to be my first target because they have nothing that can hit us in the air. So we are pretty much free to do whatever we want as this very slow army, because they're being led by zombies, um, is going to make their, their approach towards our line. The cannon is also going to start firing at either the Cryptors or the Call of Nagash. And my birds are kind of in the way of the cannon, as you'll see here soon. Also going to move up this Branch Wraith and cast Mystifying Miasma once or twice, I believe. Uh, just because there's really nothing that fast that I could catch her, although now I see the Knights, but I'm not too worried about them. Also bringing our Sister of the Thorn over here to try and do some more damage to the Claw of Nagash. And you can see that Cannonball? Yeah, it hit me. So I uh, killed three models, which is great. So I'm going to move our birds away um, and then be more mindful of where the cannon is firing. Friendly Fire is awesome. And you can see we've already got the Mortis Engine down to below half, and we've also done a lot of damage to the Cryptors because they are nearby, and also the Cannon is pouring fire into them as well. You can see the Mystifying Miasma did some okay damage. It only costs five Winds of Magic, so that's not bad. It also slows the enemy unit as well. So we're just going to... Look at that! Look at that! We almost got him, but then they're going to cast an Invocation of the Heck, and I'm like, no! That's okay. We have a lot of arrows. We're going to stick on this thing until we destroy it. That's going to be our main target along with this Cannon. We're going to cast another Mystifying Miasma on these Blood Knights because they are charging our Branch Wraith, which you can see it slows their speed down by 24%, and it will do a little bit of damage, but um, again, it's only 5 wins of magic and it slows. It's okay. It's okay. It's like, eh. I'm not going to write like a glowing review of it, but it's okay. So you can see the enemy cab is marching around my flank, so I have a couple of the Eternal Guards, especially one to try and protect this cannon because I'm assuming that's going to be one of the targets that the enemy is going to have. Meanwhile, you're going to see my Skirmishing Force is still dealing with the Claw Nagash. My Sisters of Thorn were actually chased back here because they kept uh, trying to kill him with the Tithe. And, like, I'm not going to forget about them because I'm not playing the game with this view throughout the entire thing. Totally not doing that. Um, so these guys are definitely going to be moving soon. Like, very soon. Uh, we have enemy cav coming in behind, and just as I thought they were going to be heading to the cannons, but then they're like, nope! And it actually looks like they're going to start heading to try and do a rear flank on my Eternal Guard. So I'm going to cast the, the net of, or a Prey of Anath Rayma from our Glade Lord there to stop one of them. And then we're going to try and get these Eternal Guard to do some damage to them. Meanwhile, we have managed to destroy the Claw and the Gash. And now my uh, birds are focusing on the Cryptors as my main line is just going to be tanking the Forsaken and uh, Grave Guard. While the Chaos player is going to be marching against these Long Fears over here. Good choice. Chaos Warriors great weapons do pretty good against most Dwarf units in the game. So you can see we did manage to catch one Chaos Knight, but this Knight is going to then go over here into the enemy or into my ally's cannon. That was a terrible missile spell from my Glade Lord. Um, but you can see my ally has responded with some Slayers to try and support this fight against the Chaos Knights. And we still have Blood Knights back here and more Chaos Knights here are going to be charging the Thunderers. I'm trying to intercept them, but my Eternal Guard are too slow. Meanwhile, on the front line, we're still focusing down the Cryptors, which are almost dead. After that, I think we focus down these Forsaken. I'm also casting multiple heal spells over here to try and keep our Ancient Tree Man and the Tree Can over there in top shape. And we're just going to continually use our arrows to type, snipe out uh, big targets over here. 
and the crypto wars just fell more decision didn't even see combat so so far they're doing okay and again like don't like i'm totally watching what's down here of course i am it's a trap i'm trying to trap these blood knights into thinking that i'm not actively using anyway we got the skull guard over here doing some really good damage to my chaos warriors and i got um oh i almost thought i got lucky there i guess we're all gonna take some damage here they don't die they don't die here i can tell you that but they will take some damage um but the skoda guard very nice flanking from the skoda guards is going to kind of go down the line on, on these chaos warriors meanwhile back here you can see we're dealing with these forsaken because forsaken are really good at tearing just up my um eternal guard and i really want them to hold and give support to the shuriken so i'm trying to take them out right now and they also don't have that high of armor um where are they there you see they only have 75 armor wait hold on i'm sorry what when did Forsaken get shield icons? What? Oh, 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 okay. It's because of this? Wait. Say what now? Huh. Okay. So the exalted hero took the ban or the chaos sorcerer took the banner? That's an exalted hero thing, right? In any case, there is an. I thought it was the exalted hero, but I didn't think that banner worked on a unit that didn't have shields. But I guess it gives every unit at least a six percent. Uh, where are they? Yeah, it is exalted hero because he's right here. Um, I I did not even think it worked on non-shielded units because it says specifically missile parry with shield, but then they that grants them the shielded icon, huh? I always thought that just stacks, and if you didn't have a shield, then you're shit out of luck. I honestly never knew that, because I never bring this banner. Nor do I really bring Exalted Heroes, but... Okay, that's cool. They, I guess they have a 6% chance of blocking from the front, I'm assuming. Anyway, sorry. That's the first time I've ever noticed that before. I was like, let's look at this Forsaken Armor! That's a shield icon! What? Uh, anyway, so over here we are trying to push back these Blood Knights and the uh, White King. We're going to hit them with the Prey of Anathrema, and now we're going to descend upon them with the Birds. Because the Birds do have a really nice charge bonus, and they do have Armor Piercing and Melee, so if you charge them, you can see they are just going to destroy these Blood Knights, especially supported by these Slayers and the Eternal Guard. There's just too much here for the Blood Knights to really handle. Meanwhile, back here... For some reason, I can't remember what, the Chaos Knights dis disengaged from the Sisters of Thorn, and I'm like, oh shit, I got Sisters of Thorn. So we're going to cast some spells up here to try and support the Ancient Treatment. There it goes. So now we should have a buff. There we go, Shield of Thorns <laughs> to increase their weapon damage. And now I'm going to get them into the battle. But you can see that we now destroyed those Blood Knights, and the birds are coming up victorious. And now we're going to go back to firing on this line that is fire that's shooting at me. I think we're next we're going to be firing on the Cairn Wraith, who I've been hitting with the Mystifying Miasma from the Branch Wraith to try and lower their hit points. And then we're going to also focus on this Chosen with Halberds. They do have a lot of armor, but they don't have shields. And I really need to get them out of there because they are destroying my Ancient Treeman and my Treekin. So we're going to be focusing on those. Move all over here. The Skulder Guard is still just wrecking face, man. 187 kills against not only zombies, but Chaos Warriors. Like, these guys, I haven't really been showing it too much, but they have just been excellent usage of the Skulder Guard. And my allies have been able to protect them, which is usually a hard thing to do. But yeah, these 187 kills. Now up to 213. Beautiful. Just simply beautiful. Uh, meanwhile, over here, the Thunderers are getting killed by these uh, Grave Guard, but it looks like they're about to start to crumble here. My two Eternal Guards here are going to be held by the Zombies of Shields, which is okay. I'm going to throw in our Sisters of Thorn in here. I think I'm going to have them start firing at the Chosen? Or the Forsaken. One of the two. I can't remember which. Can't remember which. These Grave Guard are now going to start chasing off, uh, or starting to go at my Sisters of Thorn. I'm trying to keep a watch of the entire battle. Back here, you can see this White King is dealing with some Slayers. Uh, not a fight that they are currently winning. But yeah, man, these Skulder Guard just routed most of these Chaos Warriors with great weapons. Such It was, it was beautiful. Um, but we still do have an Exalted Hero on the field. We still do have Vlad von Karstein. The Chaos Lord is over there, running away for some reason. But I'm still dealing with a ton of zombies and just a lot of units in general being led by Vlad. And you see my Eternal Guard are starting to crumble. Uh, they will come back, some of them back here, but their, they're, you know, leadership is very low at this point. My Ancient Tree Men is getting, or sorry, just Tree Men, not Ancient Tree Men, is getting uh, massacred by those Chosen with Halberds. So I'm trying to pull them out a little bit uh, to these Treekin, supporting them with the Glade Guard, or not Glade Guard, sorry. What are these things called? What are these things called? Hawk Riders. 
But now you can see the Skulder Guard are behind the enemy lines that are assaulting me, and they're just going to go to town. Kills up to 303 for the Skulder Guard. And you can see that my allies just kind of posted up infantry around them because they know what they need to do. All they need to do is protect this unit, and that's just GG. You know, back here, it's just the Thor doing some damage to the Sternsmen. Not that much, though. We're going to try and get them around to the flanks so their shields are not going to block anything. We have managed to focus down with the help of the Skulder Guard those chosen with halberds, which was a high priority target. Now you can see the Thunderers are pouring into them as well. My ally is also going to be intercepting these uh, Sternsmen with the Warriors Dragonfire Pass. And now that they're going to be planted in place, you, I'm going to throw my tree kin in here. And I'm going to have our Hawk Riders turn around and we're going to do the same thing we did with the Blood Knights. As my other tree kin over here just kind of dies to uh, the Chaos Swords for a White King, or Exalted Hero, and the uh, Black Car sign. But those Skulder Guard, man, they've used up almost all their ammunition and just MVPs. And now here comes a charge on the Sternsman, who have given us a lot of grief throughout this battle. And you're going to see they are going to melt relatively quickly. And they're going to start crumbling. Chaos Knights come back, but they're going to get turned away. And now my ally, since they have used most of their ammunition, is going to charge Vladimir Karstein and what remains of their Forsaken over here. And the Chaos Sorcerer leadership and Chaos Lord. But now they are going to succumb to the losses of their armies. The Sternsmen are now a thing of the past. And they are going to rout. GG to the Skulder Guard. Um, they wore big backpacks and carried hard. And good games all. Uh, for me, we got a decent amount of kills across the board, but we did fight a lot of zombies. Uh, but there were also a lot of Forsaken mixed in there and Grave Guards, so a lot of kills really well done for them. Glade Lord netting 55 kills is great. Uh, she was mostly focused on just the Blood Knights, the Sternsmen, and then key units. Same thing with the Hawk Riders, so all did exceptionally well. Now, most of the time, I kind of throw these guys into combat too early, and they kind of get massacred, so I was really patient and only struck when I thought it was really safe. And... They barely took any damage because of that. I maybe could have used them more and done more rear charges, but I was just being very safe with them in this one. Treeman netting 61 kills before he died, and the Treekin did amazing as they usually do because they're just walls. They're moving walls. Um, let's see, for Krise, 67 kills on Thorgrim. I don't think he was really fighting any zombies, so that's a ton of kills. A lot of kills on the Longbeers, but yeah, man, these Skulder Guard, 397. Some of them have to be zombies, but a lot of those are Chaos Warriors and Graveguard and Chaos Knights, I think. Insane. And then the cannon got 40 397, man. Uh, for Captain Crunch here, their hero squad did pretty good and lived until the very end, basically. Forsaken did a pretty good job at killing some of my uh, Eternal Guard. The Chaos Warriors, before they got steamed up by the Skulder Guard, managed to get some kills. Uh, same thing with the Chaos Knights, 40 each, which is kind of odd. And then the Chosen did do a lot of damage to my Treekin and my Ancient... Or, I keep calling it Ancient Treemen. Just a Treemen. The Ancient Treemen is the Spellcaster uh, Lord. For Admiral Orc Bar, their hero squad I also think lived to the bitter end. Uh, zombies did a good job of just holding us at bay. You can see this Graveguard, 104 kills is really great. Sternsmen did really good. The Blood Knights, though, they got isolated and destroyed pretty quickly, as did the other two key units of the Cryptors and the Claw of Nagash. Um, so they did not really get to see too much combat. But again, good game to everybody. Hope you enjoyed the Wood Elf and Dwarf Alliance, especially that Skulder Guard. I'll try and get some shots of them in the cinematic view. See my hawks that just died? With haste. Poor hawks. We almost get caught by the zombies. I'm like, Dude! It looks so cool. I wish their spells were not on cooldown in the beginning. And then I'll probably use them more. Wait a minute. Oh my god, no wonder it showed like doing nothing to the Blood Knights. Cause I, fuck, I clicked the White King. The Mystifying Miasma is not like a spirit leash. You need to hit it on a unit. Man, I was wondering why I was doing shit. Ah. <sighs> Cause these things were kind of stacked up on each other. So I, ah. Oh.
That was a waste. Those miners, though, that always look so cool to see the blasting charges go out. Alright, let's go to that Skolder Guard. Who are you firing at, Grave Guard? <laughs> Man. It's just one long line. That's pretty cool. Oh, shit. I just want to watch the health go down. Friendly fire there. Oh god! Get baked in your armor. God, you poor bastards. Skulls for the skull throne, I guess. Corn doesn't care where it comes from. Skulder car is so nasty. <laughs> if you can get them to work. Oh no, stop it! I'm just going down the line! Jesus! They are literally just going down the line! <laughs> Oh, did we already kill the Blood Knights? Aw, oh, damn. I wanted to see that. Uh, I'll catch the charge with this turn. Oh, There's more of that Skolder Guard. God. So brutal. Oh, then they summon zombies just to take the hit. Nice. Where's the Sternsman at? Alright, we're not quite there yet. Also, at some point, my branch wraith died around here, I think. I forgot to mention that. I don't know who got her, like a White King or the Exalted Hero. Somebody did that. But we were out of Winds of Magic at that point, anyway. No, she's so useful. She grants that plus eight melee attack aura. God. 
Chosen is just gonna get baked. Not in the way that you want. Also, I hit the wrong unit with the Prey of Anathrema. I was trying to target the Chosen so they would take additional uh, damage. But I got the Grave Guard instead. Where's my sister's at? Yep, they don't care. What fight? They're just on vacation. They are one of the coolest looking units in this game. God, you poor bastards! Run! Run from the steam! Light of the Valkyries! So much feathers! It's like a school of piranha. They descend, eat everything, and then nothing's left. Look at all those bloody wings. Although, skeletons shouldn't bleed, it's weird. I don't know who I was charging there. Maybe the leader. I can't remember. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the battle, everybody. I will see you all in the next one. Take care.